Hello and welcome to another video on Tableau versus Power BI and in today's video we are going to discuss how can we create a scatter visual with four quadrant and can have different different color in each quadrant. So let's jump on the Tableau first and I'm going to add a new sheet in the Tableau and what I would like to create a scatter visual on margin and discount percentage. So uh, I have two majors margin percentage and discount percentage almost in the similar manner in both of these this has been created. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I need a scatter visual first of all. So uh, I need it on two majors basically. So discount percentage and margin percentage is the major on which I need it. So let me do one thing. Let me go to uh, and I, let me try to create it city wise. So let me create city here in the visual. And it's going to create like this, but I'm going to make it immediately as a table and let me create margin percentage let me create discount percentage okay and I can go now and I can make it as a scatter plot and I get data like this and what I can do here is because it's all concentrated here what I can do here is and basically if I would have created just by uh, using the majors and I didn't didn't have the city then it could have shown me one dot and in the tableau I can have option to get all the records and all those things are there so I say edit exit access and I say include zero I switch it off and uh, margin is something which I want in this manner so I cross that out and this is correct but what I'm going to do in this count axis when I do the edit axis I include zero and I actually reverse it also because uh, this is what I want. I want my uh, lower margin to be a discount to be up and I would li also like to swap these positions now. This is uh, this is low discount and high margin. So this is the quadrant which I need. Now I need two lines out here to create the four quadrants out here. So I can go here and I can go again uh, here and there's option edit reference line. And I can say simple add an average line of this one okay and a line I need per pane and fine this is there and similarly for margin I also I can go and say add reference line and I can get a line out now uh, one more thing I can do is I can give it entire view so it will get some space so this is how I create now we will not go into the details um, right now on the overall details uh, but let's do the same thing on power b and then come back and see you know how can we color these four quadrants now we got the four quadrants and the same thing we wanted to do on power bi and then we would like to color these four quadrants so we go to power bi now again on power bi i go and take the scatter visual i make it full screen then i go and i need to find out margin major and x axis i take margin and x axis i have taken discount there let me see a discount on x axis so let me move it to y axis let me move discount on the x axis and let me take city from the geography as my details so i got similar kind of visual here now the visual difference is here the discount is still uh, not on this one and now because it seems like they are not being marked as percentage column so Let's mark them percentage column also so that we see them in a much better manner. Now the discount axis is something I want to reverse. So I go here, I go to the X axis and I have option for invert axis and I got an invert axis here. Okay. Now in both, uh, in this visual, uh, I can go and increase the size of the, sh I can go to the uh, uh, shape and I can increase the size little bit if I want. Uh, similar kind of things we can also do in tableau also now i got these things now i also line need lines here so for the lines uh, what we need to do is we need to go to analytics pane and i'm going to prefer a constant line here i have an option for average line also but i'm going to go to constant line i say add x axis constant line i'm going to add on x axis i need um, i go to the function and let me choose discount here okay and similarly for y axis I'm going to go here and I'm going to say add and in the add it's going to give me a line here and then I'm going to go margin percentage is the major I'm going to take 
So what I have there is x axis constant line, y axis constant line, and then on those constant line, I got this thing. Now I can go and change the color of these lines uh, as per need. So let me uh, make it white if required. And similarly for x axis constant line, I also I can go and change the color also. So now I got four quadrants here and four quadrants there. The next thing which I want these four quadrants to have different different colors. Okay. So this is my green. This is my blue. This is my yellow. This is my red. So high discount, low margin, something which I don't want. So if you see, I have created some average discount percentage. Let me see if this is the major I want to use or I want to do something else. Okay. So this is what I don't want. But but let me do one thing. Let me create here once more the same stuff. Let me create city and let me show it as a table and let me bring in margin percentage and discount percentage. Now I need overall margin and overall discount percent. There are various ways we can do it in, uh, you know, um, uh, using quick calculation or using different different things. Uh, we can do it. But what I'm going to do here is I go to analysis and I go, I create calculated field and I'll say over all disk percentage because I remember overall discount percentage we already have it in this file so I say windows I can take windows average or if I want overall average one more thing I can do my discount formula what is my discount formula my discount formula is basically discount uh, amount sum of so instead of sum I can say total Okay, total and I can give expression sum of discount amount divide by total sum of net sales. Okay, and let's bring in this. We should see the same number here. Okay, and so discount was this what is margin let's look at the margin calculation go to edit take this calculation actually uh, discount should be on not on the this one discount should be on gross so let's look at the discount calculation is it on gross discount amount and gross so let's quickly change the calculation here edit and instead of this this one we'll take gross And then margin again, we are going to build, create new calculated field and we'll say margin over all margin PCT. I paste the calculation, I copied it and let me put total function on top of it. There are various ways you can go to me. So I'm just taking one of those ways. So I create another one here. Let me drag this. So I got this is my overall margin and this is one. Now I can mark them as a percentage column, but what I'm planning to do is I'm only going to use them in a calculation. And what calculation I'm going to bring in? I want to create a color major, a major which is which is I'm going to use in colors. Okay, so I'm going to create calculated field and I'm going to say it is color scatter. And how I want to color the scatter? So I say if margin is greater than or equal to margin overall margin percentage ctc pct and discount is strictly less than discount where is overall discount gone overall disk percentage okay then so margin is greater than margin then i want to say green and the color will not matter here i'm just uh, we will explain you and then we say else if and i'm going to repeat this four times i'm going to do a little bit of calculations let me repeat this first of all Okay. 
Now, two times I need greater, but second time I need this is greater than and equal to. So discount margin is still greater, but discount then it is blue. Fine. Then what happens is the margin will strictly get get lesser. Margin is less, but still my discount is less. Then I can see yellow. And when both are less, sorry, this should be, yeah, margin is less and discount is more. It should be reversed. It should be greater than equal to, and this should be great. Too. So this should be less, and this should be greater than equal to. Okay. So four things we are covering. So, so discount less than green, margin is greater, margin greater and still the discount is also green, then we say blue situation, margin is becoming less and discount is also less at that time, still we are yellow, but margin discount we are giving more and the margin we are giving very, we are getting less, it that's the worrying situation, so we have these four colors. So now we created those four colors, now we go here, now we see the four colors, then they are not going to be like that, so we go to edit. So blue is we are going to blue, green we are going to mark as green, red is already red and yellow we are going to mark as yellow. So green, blue, yellow and red. So we done all the four quadrant color. Now same thing we have to do in Power BI. Now in Power BI, again I need overall. So what I am going to do is in, in Power BI I am going to create those overall inside the major itself. So again here I am going to create a color major again. Uh, so I got create a new major and I'm going to call it color scatter only. So color scatter, let's say alt enter, alt enter, alt enter, switch. True. Here we are going to use the power BI way of getting the overall. So where underscore and there are also few ways here we are going to use where underscore margin which is basically calculate margin percentage all selected there is a all and all selected all selected means uh, we are going to consider the data filters but are going to come so that's margin percentage and then no. again in next line I'm going to take discount percentage So we got overall margin. So this is going to give me overall margin. This is going to give me overall discount. And then I'm try to, going to write down return. And here I'm going to use switch true. Uh, we can uh, loop in multiple um, uh, if also here, but uh, I'm going to use switch true, uh, com, uh, true comma. I go to the next line and I write down margin here. Now what I want margin should be greater than and equal to uh, the underscore margin, which is here. And then and discount should be strictly less than this underscore disk variable here. Okay. And then comma. What should be the color here? It should be green here. And comma at the end. And then let's copy paste this four times. One, three, four. And we'll close it here. Now second one still is greater but this is greater than equal to third one and fourth one this is less than this is less than but this is greater than and equal to now what is happening is when margin is greater than the margin means this margin is greater than this margin and uh, the average margin and discount is less than the average discount this is this is basically the average discount this is less than this is the quadrant then the margin is still greater than the average margin, this line, but discount is less than the average margin, average discount, this one. Then the margin is now below the uh, below the uh, average margin, the overall average margin, but the discount is on the lower side, still less than this uh, one. And then here it is, the margin is below and discount is greater than the average margin. So these are the four one, the green, blue, yellow and red. Now I can give the hash hex code also here and it is giving one error here. Uh, somewhere we did not close properly. Let me check. 
here we have written unnecessary switch true let me remove that switch true here initially we might have written that okay so now i corrected this one now i will go here and i will go to the data color and in the data color function i'm going to go and use field value that's how we do it in power bi and search for color and color scatter okay and you see green blue yellow and red and the same kind of overlapping between the axes you might have seen here see this red here and this is kind of stuff here similar kind of stuff you are seeing here and in the shapes in power bi you can go and change uh, shapes little bit if you want uh, so in both tableau and power bi we created similar kind of stacked scatter visual with the quadrant having different colors so go ahead and try that out and do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you hello and welcome to this new series this new series will explore feature by feature comparison between tableau and power bi so if you have not subscribed subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for the new videos get involved keep asking questions in comments subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification of our new video keep watching